What's up y'all? So in today's video, I'm going to teach y'all how to make a loading screen while your content loads in React. Now this is an example of what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be grabbing a data from a music lyrics API and as the content loads, it'll be showing this spinner right here and once it's done loading, it'll show the content. Now this isn't on a timer or anything, this is dynamic every single time. So let's get into it. Alrighty then. So I have a plain React app that I just started up again. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be importing React Bootstrap. So the documentation, the link is in the description below. So I'm just going to copy this npm install right here. And I'm going to open up a new terminal. And I'll just go into my directory and paste it. And as that's happening, I'm also going to go back into the documentation. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put it into our index.js file, which is right xia. And paste it. Save it. And I'm going to open up my index.html file, go back to here, and I'm just going to copy this bad boy right here. And I'm going to paste it right underneath here. And I'll just save that. And I'll let this install. All right, so now I'm going to go into our app.js file. And I'm going to clear up most of the stuff right here because we don't need it. I'm going to get rid of the header and all the stuff inside of there. And I'll turn this into const app is equal to arrow function and I'm going to create two uh, use state uh, variables so it's to be const uh, lyrics item and set lyrics item and I'll do use state and we'll set it to null initially and I'll do another one so const this is for the loading so loading and set loading and I'm going to use use state and we'll set it to false and I'll save that, make sure nothing broke. Cool. All right, so now going back into our app, I'm actually going to open up our terminal again because I forgot to also install Axios. So I'm going to do npmi Axios and let that happen. While that's happening, I'm going to create a new function. This is going to be responsible for rendering, uh, for loading up our API, getting our results and also setting our loading to be true or false. So it'll be real simple, so it'll just be a const, call it lyrics function, and I'll do async, kind of the brace, and inside here we're gonna do a try catch. So I'll just do console.log e if there's an error. But inside of try catch, I'm gonna do const data is equal to await axios. So once axios is installed, I'm going to do a dot get and this is this is where we're going to get the URL for our music API. So the li the link to this is in the description below. So I'm going to copy this right here. Oh no, not that. Oops. I'm going to search. I'm going to copy this right here. And go back into your app and I will just paste this like that with the not the quotes, but I don't know what this is called, but cut quote, I guess. I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna give it an artist, so it's M and M and M in M and M and M and M. I think that's right. Okay, and let's do Godzilla. So this will be loading up the lyrics for Godzilla, and we'll do a dot then res. Whoops, and we'll just do console.log res if there is a response, and if it is a response, we'll just set lyrics item to be oops res.data.lyrics cool and I'll save that now we also need to still import Axios so there was a big error so as we import Axios from Axios and if we go back into our app and we go into our inspect go into our cone shell oh we don't actually have it there that means that we need to call the function, right? So to call the function, I'm going to do a use effect, and inside of here, I'll just call lyrics function, and I'm just going to add an empty array right there. And now, if we go back into our app, we'll see that we have our data right there. So if we open this up. And we go into data, we'll see that it goes res.data.lyrics, and then we have our lyrics right there. 
All right, so now let's import our lyrics and let's also import our spinner as well. So first thing is I'm just gonna call our set, not our set lyrics item, it'll just be our lyrics item. And if we save that, we go back into our app. We'll see that after it takes a little bit of time to load, we see our lyrics appearing right here. Now let's import our uh, loading spinner. So inside our React Bootstrap, go into components and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see spinners. And you'll go to this page right here. Just go ahead and copy any spinner you want, but I'm going to grab this one right here. And back into our app, I'm going to import star or import all as React Bootstrap from React Bootstrap. And scrolling down to here, I'm going to add a little bit of space. I'm going to use curly brace and import it right here. Instead of doing just spinner, I'm gonna have to add react bootstrap dot spinner. And if I save that, go back into our app, we'll see that after it takes a little bit of time to load, we'll see that the spinner is loading right there. But now let's actually use the spinner to load, to show loading for the content. And once the content is loaded, the spinner goes away. All right, so to do this, this is going to be very hard. This is going to be almost impossible. No, I'm just playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need that anymore there. And I'm going to underneath here, after our await happens, I'm going to set loading to be true. And if I scroll down right here, I'm going to add a ternary operator that basically checks if loading is true or false. If it's true, um, to show the loading spinner if it's false to show the content. So really simple, it's just gonna be a whoops curly brace loading question mark add brace colon. I think that's a colon or semicolon, I can't remember. Um, and I'm gonna do lyrics item. Else we're gonna do our spinner. Oh well that's not right. There we go. And get rid of these curly braces right here. Nah, save that. So now it's automatically linted. And so now if we, oops, let's get rid of this too because we don't need that. And if we go back into our app, we'll see that it loads. It loads dynamically every single time. Sometimes it was going to load a lot faster. Sometimes it's going to load a lot slower. If I refresh a lot. Cool. Cool, so hopefully this tutorial helps you guys out learn how to make a loading spinner for your content, for your app. Um, just want to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. That's, that's so cool. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.